The Reploids. The Aurora was designed to look like humans. The Ace Technical Marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and perfect partners for mankind. But the wheels of peace between Reploids and humans were beginning to grind to a halt. The Reploids were well designed, perhaps too well. Their humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The rebels were labeled mavericks and feared by their human masters. The humans decided to pit Reploid against Reploid. That was the fate given to them. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given a choice. Thus, the War of the Machines began, and humans just watched. War begot beget war. And time passed. Even with the construction of the utopian human city near Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of the New Arcadia, and now Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Weil. The former Utopia is not only a shadow of its former glory, many have started to flee the city. We are one of those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Weil on our caravan. I should have grabbed a faster car. Neeg, they're catching up. I know, I know, but this isn't as fast as it goes. Shoot, Dr. Wallace trying to bring us back. Zero, can you hear me? Enemy is heading for the caravan. Help them. Understood. Commencing mission. CL, need some help in the light in the trailer. Oh, oh I forgot. Need to change my controls because the controls are weird. Hold on. Uh, controls are being weird. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Zero four came out on the DS. No wonder they had an extra button. Oh, so they changed up the enemies finally. My guess is that this game was a bit delayed because usually they would reuse assets. My guess is that they must have updated the game's sprites for 04. Zero. I know, very Metal Slug X. Yeah, it's basi that's basically what it is. Zero... Here's the... He traded the blaster arm for a gun. <laughs> I'm detecting heat signatures. Zero, something's coming. Bring the trailer closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha. Oh boy.
Yeah, this is some metal slug shit right here. What the? Well, this seems familiar. There we go. Yeah, here's the thing. He doesn't exactly have a lot of moving animations for attacks. So you can just kind of just YOLO it. <laughs> Wait, which zero are we talking? Are we talking GBA with his own game zero or we're we talking original X zero? Looks like everyone's okay. I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to drive out here in the middle of nowhere. You always give lectures to the people you save. Well, thanks anyway. Nay, hey, we don't have time for this. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, but there's time to say thank you. I don't want the Reploids thinking we're ungrateful. Here to leave. I'll be there soon. Alright. No good can come up dealing with Reploids. Okay, Reploid racism. Look at that. You're human? Yes, we are. Our humans outside of near Arcadia that rare. Zero? <laughs> Zero. 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 I'm glad you're okay. Looks like the vehicle is okay, too. Thanks to you both. Saved us, Dr. CL. Huh? How'd you know... Who are you? <laughs> Name's Neeg. I'm human, just like you. Used to be a journalist who traveled the world. That's why I heard rumors about you and your resistance. That you led the Reploids against New Arcadia. And are supposed to be very dangerous. <laughs> dangerous? We're not... <sighs> Heard a lot about you two. I knew you were in the resistance when I heard CL. Call your name call your name just now. So you're a legendary Reploid Zero. We don't want any strange rumors being spread about us. There won't be. I'm just telling you what I heard. Oh yeah, there's my thinking differently than me. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. This is not gonna lie, this is the first time we've seen another human character. Jesus Christ. Going where are you going anyway? If you're human, then why don't you just stay in the Arcadia? Put all this together just to go, just to escape from there. Just, just stay there. Just stay there. Cause we're human. You must be joking. Wait, you don't know, do you? That place has changed. You see, he's getting attacked just now. It's terrible. It doesn't matter anymore, human or reploid. It's all the same. Anyone that opposes Wild is treated like a maverick. That evil Dr. Wild who was driven away from Near Arcadia. He controls all the energy and production there and everywhere all because some hero defeated the leader of Near Arcadia. The greatest sanctuary for us humans. It's no more. Well then that means what we did was... The humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Wild. So that he rules unchecked. As long as they stay quiet, they stay safe. But who knows how long before Wild decides to get rid of them too. So we fled from that place. We're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Nah, it's fine, don't worry about it. Although, for Zero, for context, let me just say this. It takes place 100 years after, I think, after X, Mega Man X. Zero is now considered a legendary hero. He wakes up from a coma, kills shit, kills a fake X, kills more shit, kills a psychopathic rebel, rebel leader, kills more shit, uh, kill, kills fake X, which you just saw, and now we're about to kill more shit. <laughs> Here's Zero. Is the human settlement there? Oh yeah, we're also dealing with a with a with a megalomaniac, ma megalomaniac obsessed with his own ego. Then we'll go with you. Who knows when Wild will strike next? Well, CL's human, but Reploids aren't aren't welcome, especially heroes like you. What's that supposed to mean? Settlement is full of people who were caught up in the Reploid War. So they don't take too kindly to Reploids. 
Humans aren't as strong or friendly as you might think. I won't tell the Corva caravaners that you are the zero that defeated later near Arcadia. Don't get us involved in anything. Talk to you later. But yeah, Doc, while you were gone, we had the best conversations earlier. We talked about boom shoots, a lot of retro stuff, some stuff about childhood and all Cartoon Network. Yeah, it was it was sick. But then after that, everyone mostly left, and I got really fucking tired. And JK was the only one here. <laughs> so yeah, you so yeah, you didn't miss much. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Humans, huh? Zero. We should get back to the trailer. Right. Something about the caravan bothering you? Yeah. I was shocked to hear that all the humans at the settlement hated the Reploids. It's just... I... We fought so hard for the Reploids that... I didn't know other humans felt that way. Yeah, I... Yeah, I've been, I want to stream Zone of the Enders someday, but that's gonna have to wait a bit until we get through this. Probably, probably Saturday. <laughs> yeah, here's the, here's the thing with Zone of the Enders. It's just, compared to Armored Core, which I played, I played through 6, and I compared Zone of the Enders, Zone of the Enders is just way faster than Armored Core. It's insane. I didn't know other humans that felt that way. Didn't they say the settlement was in a place called Area Zero? That's where we should be heading to. They're struggling to maintain their independence for a while, and we have to help them. Do what you feel is right. Well, yeah, because it's like from that, it's very arcadey in its controls. Whereas Armored Core it likes to make you feel the weight and you have to customize your mech a certain way to make it feel fast. Now, that might be a good time to drop by Servos for some maintenance after that, that. After that, come and see me in the commander's room. Oh, before that, I'll save your data. Thanks, CL. Ooh, more save slots. Let's go. Got parts. You might be able to use some of those to make new chips. Wanna try making one? Just let me know. Finally, use for the lamp. Ah, junk. That's what I heard. That PvP for Armored Core 6 is amazing. Since, you know, FromSoft practically perfected PvP with Souls games. Yes, it's not far from here. Nig and the others should arrive there soon. Area Zero is the site of the Maverick Wars. In the Maverick Wars, where the space colony of Rusia crushed. Many lives were lost there. Area Zero is the painful reminder of a war long past. Humans are living there now. Data about Area Zero has been sent from the Resistance Base. Since the crash of the Space Colony, this section has been sealed off, but apparently the land has been renewed at that time, and nature is becoming more and more abundant. Nature is coming back to Area Zero. Did it be due to an environmental system still left active after the crash? It's not much, but it still means hope for humanity. I managed to find the human settlement. It was not enough. We need to con info. We need to connect a closer investigation of Area Zero. Zero, can you head out there and check it out? We'll be following in the trailer. Going to Area Zero? Yeah. Understood, Operator. Transport me. Alright, coordinates set. How could this be? How could what be? I'm detecting multiple Reploid signals. I think they're near Arcadian. No, they're Wiles wet Reploids. What are they doing in Area Zero? Operator, get me over there, hurry. All right, ready for transfer. Be careful, Zero. So this is Area Zero. CL, you seeing this on the monitor? Yes, I'm seeing now. That's amazing, I didn't know such a natural place still existed. 
CL, what's my mission? Oh, sorry. The enemy in the colony remains. The answer should be up ahead. Understood. I'm in pursuit. I've got to Dr. Wildby up to. God, this game looks so good. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure this was on the DS. There's no way this was on the Game Boy. Ain't no way. This feels like it was on the DS. This looks way too good. Like, every game, the art style improves. And I love it. Oh, no, that's a view. Oh, that's cool. Let's go. We have a lot of fun. It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be great. Oh boy. Yeah, but the thing is, you should already know. That game is already. Here's the thing you. You should already know if you played Max Payne the original. It's like uh, brutally unfair after like chapter three, so. Yeah, because the isn't the game like brutally unfair after chapter three? I should know. I played it on PS2, which, oh boy. Whoa, okay. First time I died to a boss. There we go. Also, I see Planet Coaster 2 is doing you fine. <laughs> Supreme Edge, let's go. At least we know you're having fun while well, my dumbass suffered six hours of just Mega Man. What the hell? Mr. Peacock. Why well, sweat the small stuff? I'm all for crashing Area Zero, but this is taking forever. Guess I don't have much choice but to follow Lord Wild's plan. <laughs> hey, bird for brains, how you doing? That's fine, Doc. I mean, here's the thing, by the time you do sleep, I might be done with the game. Although, that's why I'm probably jinxing myself. It's like I missed a grunt. <laughs> Who dares call me a grunt? <laughs> Who are you? Where'd you come from? I'll teach you to come in here and insult me. <sighs> You're a noisy one. Ah, now I'm mad! Come on, I'll show you. Don't steal all the fun. Oh, don't steal all the fun, Coco Petri. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, game, chill. Chill, game. Chill, 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 game. Jesus Christ. Wait, he's going to be my dinner. You're the one. You're the one who needs to be. Oh, you're the one who needs to be quiet. They went back on time, so we have to come find you. By the way, who is that Reploid standing over there? Oh, that is Z. His name is Zero. I was dead on him and Lord Wild's master plan. Me no Magnus. Try to speed it up next time. Oh, zero. So this Reploid is our target? We should take care of him here and now. Ah, oh, Time's running out. Leave him.
We're only here to investigate Area Zero. You don't have to clearance to fight. Ah, oh, come on, Commander Croft. You're not saying we should just leave the enemy, are you? We need the power of Ragnarok to destroy this much nature. Once Ragnarok has begun, one Reploid will be beneath our concern. There's no time to deal with him now. Destroy the nature in Area Zero? Just what are you trying to do? My name is Croft. I am a soldier, soldier near Arcadia. No, Lord Wild. We, Lord Wild, requires all nature to be destroyed. Lately, there are lots of impudent humans thinking the world outside Neokidia is better. That's why we must make sure it isn't by, isn't by burning it. Then nobody will have delusions of escaping Lord Wild. Who would choose nature over Lord Wild anyway? I can't believe it's human. The humans are so foolish. Rawr! Commander Croft is the... Is the leader of the Iron Here we are. The eight warriors. The eight of us will destroy the environment. And as part of Lord Wild's plan, we will destroy it. Area Zero as well. That is Ragnarok. You see, Zero, there's nothing you can do. You said that to me like 20 fucking times in the last game. You're no threat to Lord Wild. I'm sure, buddy. Sure. You told me it's useless like 20 fucking times last time. And I am still alive. So may I ask why? You'll come to understand. This world belongs to Lord Wild. One person can't change the world. world. Heroes are a thing of the past. <laughs> Time to go. Ragnarok has begun. Loving the Norse vibe going on here, guys. I love it so far. Uh, Zero, you okay? Ciel, is that you? Did you get all that? Yes, I can't believe Dr. Wild would do that. Arrived in Area Zero, too. We found the settlement. Return to the... We found the settlement. Return to the trailer. Understood. Operator, bring me back. <laughs> Commencing transport. Transferring into... One. Welcome back. Hmm. Welcome back, Zero. Seems the Reploids weren't aware of the settlement's presence. I know Nag warned us not to go to the settlement, but we need to tell them about Ragnarok. With Wild's army so close, we can't afford to risk alerting them to the settlement's presence by transferring you there. They have to go on foot. Just nice the trailer and keep going right. Shouldn't take you long to reach it. <laughs> oh, and Zero? We just received data on all the new Cyber Elf from Resistance, the Resistance Base. The new Cyber Elf. They've been through conducting research on the cyber elves. We got one of the new ones in the room next door with Alouette. Pick it up from her. She also has the operating manual, so ask her about more details about it. I will. When you're ready, head out to the settlement. I'll catch up to you later on in the trip. Alright then. Oh boy. This is gonna be tricky. I believe Alouette is friends for chicken. Yeah, sure. That's that's. I believe that too. Wrong one. So I. Okay. Nah, man. It's German for beef. Shut up. Hey, you! Stop! You're a Reploid. This isn't a place for you. Get out of here! Wait, I have to tell you something. Croatian for cake. 
No, it, it's um, it's Spanish for cola, aka butthole. We told you to get out. Wyle is going to destroy this place. If you leave now, there's still time. <laughs> Another Reploid War. First the Maverick Wars and the Elf Wars, now Wyle. How long does this world have to suffer while you carry out your petty wars? Huh? Just leave us alone. The settlement was built by humans, for humans, and we're protected by ourselves. Venison. <laughs> Where's your sources? Protected by ourselves. But it's dangerous for you to fight while alone. So you like humans or reploids to join forces? Don't be a fool. It's your reploids and your wars that got us into this mess. I have no reason to trust you. But we were just trying to protect you. Also, JP, since you're in chat, and I restocked recently, you heard that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Even at 4 a.m. I can still fuck with you. Nake said we wouldn't be welcome. But we told them what we know. So we don't decide what to do with that. Isn't that right, Nag? That's right. I'm going back to the trailer. And we'll be making their final move soon. Zero, I... Wearing won't stop while his army. You can only do your best and hope that's enough. Alright then. Let's do what we can to protect the nature around Era Zero. I hope the people in the settlement will come to realize that we're not trying to hurt and hurt them. I'm sure they will. <laughs> I found signals for Wild's army. There are eight units. Ragnarok has begun. Feeding data to the screen now. Choose mission. These are the areas you can go. Boss order time. Hello, fucker. Hello, is there background noise? There shouldn't be because I have my headphones in. No, but Discord's messing up again on PC, so I can't upload it on there. Alright, don't hang up then. No, 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 it's fine. Don't worry, he can stay here. I need something to keep me awake anyways. Uh, I need the company so I don't go insane. The problem is I can't, I don't have the uh, actual, I won't be able to pull the actual stream up. That's fine. Hold on, I'm trying to... Hello! I'm trying I'm to, making a cameo. Yes, he's making a cameo. And I'm trying not to lose my shit. I'm bored as fuck and I can't get back to sleep, so... Yeah. I'm so gonna watch the boys. Like, nah. Yeah. And I saw you were streaming. Oh yeah, that's the all nighter. I'm like, I need to join a bit of it at least. Yeah. Well, I might stop streaming at like 8 a.m. So, I was going on with this. Original idea for this though, when I brought it up, was to go like past six, not eight. Well, here's the thing. I promised a Mega Man Zero marathon, so that's just gonna be the way it's gotta be. Ugh, gross. Look, I love electric cars. They're good for the environment. I just don't like the design of the Prius. It doesn't help that it's a top-selling car in Japan. I mean, it's a Prius. I still wish Konami would sell some of their IPs to Capcom. At least, uh... Or at least not sell them, but, like, give Capcom the okay to do, like, a hard-themed Castlevania spell. Here's the thing. I feel like Konami wants to do that nowadays, considering their new management. Nah, it wouldn't fit. I mean, so 
still a combat. It'd just be more like it'd be more like you're not as strong as like a Belmont. You gotta just survive. Dude, that, the whole point is that you're as strong as a Belmont. There's a way to do it. Well, here's the thing. They've done it before, and literally every single person that wasn't a Belmont was able to kick Dracula's ass easy. Yeah. It was a ne it was on NES, but okay. It was on Game Boy Color. No, it was on it was a NES game. It was not a NES game. Yeah, Kid Dracula was a NES game. Unless they ported it to Game Boy Color, I don't know. I'm not an expert on these things. There was Castlevania Adventure, if that's what if that's what you're referring to. Demi kids. <laughs> oh, you're forgetting. This is Demi kids is an old school RPG, combined with it being shit. <laughs> I know that. They were the best Game Boy model ever produced. Because every other Game Boy model, it was the AG101, I think. Because every other model only had the front light, which sucked if you were going to try and play it in like high light conditions. I mean, I remember trying to, I remember trying to play old portables outside. Not wise. I thought the rat wandered in, but it was just you. You're going to a lot of trouble for the environment. Too bad that trouble will be wasted. I have no hope of stopping Ragnarok. <laughs> if you're just going to waste energy, give it to me. I'll drain you dry. These robots really, uh... Yeah, this whole game's plot is, oh, psychopathic dictator wants to, wants to destroy nature, and we're stopping that. No, essentially, old man is too psychotic and wants to rule the world. But the thing is, people are leaving the city, so he's like, you know what? If I'm gonna rule over everyone, I can't have anyone leave this place. Therefore, you're gonna live here permanently now until I say so. That I'm shriveling up. Right. I'm a flower cut down before I could blossom. Uh, uh Lord Wild. You know what? And funnily enough, we were talking about Digimon earlier. I never got into it. I don't know why. I've seen a few episodes, but I never really got into it. Got Noble Dra Fandrango's EX skill, Sky Chaser. Elf max level increased. 
Let's go. So apparently Zero Four is more like a traditional Mega Man game where it's like eight bosses and then the final one. My guess is that they wanted to rush this game out the door and just try to get it done. Artificial plants. Ironic that that very technology meant to protect nature is destroying it. What do you mean? <laughs> Artificial plants. Humans are capable of the world most wonderful, Facebook, most terrifying things with the power of science. So As a scientist, it just makes me shiver thinking about it. <laughs> Let's see. Time to check the EX skill. Yo, look in chat. I suppose it's something fucked up. Alright, let me see it. Let me see it. What'd you post, motherfucker? As in Discord chat. Peppa Pig jigsaw puzzle, puzzle. <laughs> and it's just a, a bunch of pork. Pu pork. That's <laughs> fucked. That's a good question. I actually had like the headphone marker and it somehow counted as hanging up. Maybe. Like, does your headphone count it? What? Does your headphone count it? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Metroid Dread is so hard to find physically. I don't know why they didn't print a lot of it. It's Metroid. It's confusing, isn't it? But apparently no. Found there's Animal Crossing when that came out. I saw people walking out of Best Buy with them like crazy. And not like walking out when the pandemic was a thing, so people kind of just had to go to Best Buy's store and ask for it. Nowadays, it's like, yeah, people are barely care about the damn thing. Hey, Zero. <laughs> and I was cleaning up the station. I saw this. That's a recipe. Maybe you could put it to better use than I can. Discover new recipe. Like Animal Crossing, you turn on autistic. I'm I'm legally obligated to play Animal Well, here's the thing. You are. You're the exception. But nowadays, I barely see people talk about it. Dude, you know how many lives that game saved? Like, it wanted a word for it. Like... For life-changing? It wanted an impact for mental health awards at the time it came out. Like, there were stories of people that were going to kill themselves, like, during the pandemic, and then played Animal Crossing, and then they were fine afterwards. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Probably shouldn't mention suicide on stream, but you know. Yeah. Well, I've been streaming. Dude, I've been streaming for seven hours. My recording is gonna be fucking huge. Oh, yeah, you have to break this up the I did. I broke it up the mega the first Mega Man Zero Three part bit into one section, and then I'm gonna break uh the Mega Man Zero Four in another section. Luckily, Zero Four is shorter than three, because apparently Zero Three is way longer. Yeah. Popla, okay. Where's Popla? Oh, so like uh, yeah. I don't believe they're ever gonna do that. They just they're 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 not that Yeah, but we know they're not that desperate. Yeah, but they're not they're not that desperate. <laughs> Well, yeah, because, well, Xbox is being hit the worst. Because a decent PC is just as affordable as a uh, $500 console. Funnily yeah. enough, one of my, uh, funnily enough, another person in chat that was here said the opposite, that consoles were more expensive than PCs. They are now, they're like, dude, I paid 700 for my fucking console, and I have to get a well, scalper. Yeah, well, in terms of scalpers, I don't mean, like, in actually officially buying them, I mean in terms of, like, yeah, well, I'm not saying that's not a lot. I'm just saying that in Brazil, they're a lot more. Because apparently one of our viewers now... Oh, uh, from Brazil, that's... Oh, I can only imagine. In South America, it's harder to get a hold of... I'm not being, like, racist or anything in any way, but in South America, it's harder to get a hold of, like, certain electronics. Yeah, and he says getting a cheap PC is great. Although he was hitting on the fact 4K shit was a mistake... Yeah, we're not there, but apparently, like, yeah, they said it was, like, a mistake. Can we play that way, like, Star Wars? Uh, that one, that new flight one they made, Star Wars Squadrons, even though it murders your GPU. Yeah. Uh, that can be played that way, but, uh, still. Yeah, people want 4K60 gaming. Here's the problem. 
is that not many consoles or rigs are that are there yet. It took us multiple generations. It took us up until the 360 to get fucking HD gaming. And like, that made a lot of studios go out of business. They couldn't afford to do it. 1080p? Like, just to reach 1080p. Most games on the 360 and is you can't even do it. Yeah, most of them, that's why so, so many games like the 720 and just heavily modified the engine for. Like, always read the back of your game cases, guys. They'll say if they can do it or not. It's okay, because that sounds, it will say it. Which, I hate how modern Steam storefronts will not say if they can do it or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's annoying, but what can you do? Yeah, you know what's funny is that PlayStation does that. <laughs> like, they'll tell you, oh, by the way, this game goes like it's in 1080i or something. Oh, yeah, 360 did it too. I think they had to legally because of uh, uh, certain little laws at the time. Yeah, but like, so, some games, some PS PlayStation games will tell you, hey, this game runs at like 4K60 on performance or like some shit. Zero, there's a control yeah, tower. You can't straight out destroy it, but you can pull the key disc out of disable the tower. Yeah, that's what I do too. Like I explained earlier in the chat that I'm still gonna have both a PC and a console, not because like I uh, not because you know I'm like a console peasant, but because of the fact that my rig is just not capable of handling games past 2020. Performance? No, I'm running in 4K though. I have a Sony fucking Bravia TV and I'm not afraid to use it. Speaking of which, I found a, a dude, I found a Bravia M9 monitor for a hundred some dollars. Really? And I don't know if it's it's like a M9 monitor with a keyboard and a mouse, and I'm like, that's gotta be a scam. There's no fucking way. I didn't even have Sony made monitors. <laughs> they still do. I remember I remember when the PS5 was coming out, they were promoting it. Like, oh, yeah, get this. Line of TVs are nice. They even have, like, like uh, they literally were saying, oh, if you want to you play the PS5 in the best experience possible? Play with this monitor. It's perfectly made for it. Oh, yeah, probably TVs are made specifically for PlayStation. Yeah. That's why I bought it. It was literally in the advertisement. Sony came out with a... Uh, so Sony eventually essentially made the TV that I have, which is a uh, mid-range LED TV. Literally is made in the market, and it says Red Evil Herbs made for PlayStation 5. Imagine thinking people have game cases to look at, which is honestly sad. I never played me. I never. I missed physical media being popular. Oh no! I, mean, I still keep. I still keep a physical Xbox 360 collection on hand, along with a 360 GameCube. Cause I like just going first thing and just finding shit. Is it good for my wallet? It's a thrill Yeah, but here's the thing, it probably it's it's probably more worth it, considering the fact it's probably much cheaper finding it at a thrift store than Amazon. Um here's the problem. Google's been getting very uh, eBay pricey lately. Oh yeah, that's that's a bit ridiculous. Ah, that's been happening. I see. You know, once you get... By the way, how's your mom doing? She's doing good. She's in pain, but it's like one of the roughest orthopedic surgeries you get for her. Yeah, but it's like, is she so far doing well? Like, she's not like super, super screaming in pain? She's not super screaming in pain. She was high on pain meds this morning, and it was kind of hilarious. But also kind of sad. Yeah, I've been high on pain meds this morning. I said some crazy shit. 
I think everyone has. <laughs> I'll have you know the Wii U was my childhood. <laughs> I've been expecting you, Zero. You made a fool of me the last time we met, but I assure you it won't happen again. I am Koka Petri of the Unhairy R8 Warriors. El Seer Ragnarok come through. So you're the one who's in control of the security here. Surprised? It's all thanks to Lord Wiles' virus program. Takes care of intruders without me even lifting a finger. So you're the type that can can't do anything yourself, huh? <laughs> first grunt? First grunt? Now this is an insult. It's unforgivable. I'll turn you into a lawn ornament. <laughs> Fighting a giant chicken. Oh yeah, this game is very Mega Man-esque in its level design. And it's bosses. It feels like OG Mega Man X. Also, I don't know if it's just me. Oh god! Why can't I move? I haven't been turned to stone, have I? No, it's fair keeping me frozen. That would be badass, but I doubt it's gonna. Dude. Um, which is shocking because there's like eight people connected to the Wi Fi. Oh god, they simplified the fuck out of this. I don't I'm like still paying for my Apple headphones, Apple. Oh god, they simplified the fuck out of this. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Be I'm actually gonna head off because I have some stuff I need to do. In the morning. But yeah. yeah so uh hope you enjoyed my cameo chat and uh by the way The Alamo, I don't know. Alright man, see ya. Hey Davey, how you doing? Welcome to the All Nighter stream. Fuck, I gotta do this all over again. Um, welcome to the All Nighter stream, brother. How you doing? Uh, well, so far I'm doing fine, surprisingly. I haven't felt the need to sleep yet, so I think I'm good. Do one more boss and hopefully get to the end. Yeah, I told you, this was an all-nighter stream. We're going to be pl playing all night. This is 0 4, not X. This is 0 4, not X 4. This game's kind of stressing me with the weird bullshit it has. Yeah, because this feels like a traditional Mega Man game, like eight bosses and all. So.
Oh fuck. Yeah, it's fine, Doc. Don't worry, man. You're good. Go get some sleep, man. You're not the one staying up awake. Or forcing themselves. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank God. Please be safe. 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 Oh, thank God. That's why I wanted to save. Holy shit. Whew. So far, the sleep deprivation hasn't kicked in yet, so I think I'm fine. And I've said that plenty of times by now. I think it probably is. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting a long time for this, Zero. I'm not just one of the eight warriors. I'm a remnant of the Zan A army, led by the late Phantom. I am Tech Kraken. I only put up with that while on this whole planet just so I can get revenge on the one who defeated Phantom. Feel the rage of my former master. I'll enjoy seeing these fangs of ice into you. My strength to while, and I must pay. Hey, D. Hey, JK. How you doing? There's no way for me to save Phantom Soul, but I did what I had to do. Phantom, forgive me. Poor bastard. Got Tech Kraken's EX skill, Ice Javelin. Elf max level increased. Okay. <clears throat> Come back. So the boss in the area was one of Phantoms, man. Phantom lost his life in one of our many battles. So I just wonder if all our fighting is only get created more suffering in the world. Yeah, this is very Mega Man X-esque. Like, if there's a, like, OG Mega Man. I, yeah, this is confirmed now. This is, it just, just feels like OG Mega Man. That's what it feels like. Yeah, I'm still awake. Well, like I said, um, I'm not beat, I'm not, I'm, this is a marathon. We're, we're, keep, we're gonna keep going until we beat this shit. And apparently this game's only two and a half hours long. Apparently. Well, either way, I'm not gonna hold my breath, because I've played with this for longer. <laughs> there we go. Pixel auto. Alright, sure. 
Oh yeah, it looks way smoother. The game does. Like, it's very clear NT Creates managed to um, push the game, either the Game Boy or the DS to its limits. This feels like a DS screen. Don't get me wrong. In the flame monstrosity. This mission? Yes. And apparently, they also reworked how EX skills, you gain EX skills. No longer will you have to play your best. Instead, you will need to fight and pl play this game on hard mode to get the EX skills for each boss. So, yeah. Alright, ready for transfer. And essentially, you can either choose to make the game easier on yourself, but get no EX skill. Or make it harder on yourself and get their EX skill. Which I'm doing, well, obviously I gotta get it, make it harder on myself. Because here's the thing. This game follows OG Mega Man rules, so that means elements are not tied to boss weapons, which, oh boy. That's it. And I don't know how to feel. I appreciate it's like old school Mega Man, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, there's also the crafting, which my guess is that they were trying to like pull, pull some hours out of you. Not only that, it's doing the good old class and classic spike everywhere trick. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Another dragon. Fun. Yeah, now you know it's how it's rushed. They reused this boss like twice. It's a, it's a different flavor. That was close. Um, I killed a, at least a few bosses, and uh, yeah. And we're already halfway. I think a third of the way through the game because we killed. A, we're on the. We're on the. One of the bosses by now. This game has weird wind mechanics. Ooh. This level does at least. So yeah, you miss. Yeah, you didn't miss much. But hopefully I'm almost done with this game. Hopefully I'm almost done. I'm hoping to God I am. I will spite the worthless vermin down below. Lord Wild came up with a plan as beautiful as myself. All ugly things must bow down before me. Pegasol to Eclair will send you to the depths below. King You can tell his level sucks. You know what? Switching. Shit. Hidden man. Oh, how could this happen to me? You beating me? That's impossible. But my death, it's so beautiful. Screw you, Pegasus. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that. Kindred spirits. Nice. Can't believe they were planning to attack us using that flying fortress. Wow means business. Can't believe he's human. How can he be so cruel? Huh? The revolts converging on Area Zero. Wild Ripplewoods are heading for the settlement. What? <clears throat> they found it? Fighting is breaking out across the settlement. The Ripplewoods are advancing. Operator, transfer me to the settlement. And put in coordinates. Zero, protect the settlement, please. Oh, before that, I'll save your data. Thank God. Okay, where are the people? Wondering where the people are at. Where are you guys at, brothers? Where are the people? Where are they? Where are the people? Where are the people? Oh, this is the grass. Finally, had to load back the save. Where's the last save point? Never asked you for your help. Okay, buddy. <laughs> the view count is at 69. Nice. Thank you for saving us, mister. Zero. Is everyone at the settlement alright? Yeah, everyone's okay. I can't find Nagy. I wonder if she's hiding somewhere. I'll check around. All right, but be careful. Oh, she wasn't here either. Craft. Ah, uh, Zero. I say you ought, to you ought to protect an area Zero. Because of the settlement. Because of the settlement. You were in your Arcadian Reploid. You used to fight for humanity. How could you fight for Dr. Wild and attack the settlement? Lord Wild is all the world's energy in his grasp. Humans and Eploids have no choice but to live under him. There are fools who don't understand that and fight us even though they have no chance of victory. As long as you and the humans continue to fight, there will be casualties. Yeah, sure, dickweed.
god! Oh, thank god. Oh, fuck you and fuck your lover. Ugh. 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 So this is the power of the legendary Reploid. I should have known. It's only you back, Kraft. What are you talking about? You're not going all out. Sounds like you wanted to lose. Must be something else behind your attack. On the settlement. But it, there is nothing else. Not just as then, I am fighting for humanity. Area Zero in this settlement must be sacrificed for the greater good. Humans must learn the folly of the Fire Lord while. <laughs> Stop it! Nagy! <sighs> greater good? <laughs> what are you doing to help humanity? How can you talk about the greater good after seeing what you've done to harm nature in this settlement? It took a long time for nature to return to its former glory and for the humans living here to find peace. You're trampling humanity underfoot, not helping it. Doesn't matter how hard you try to justify your actions, your bull just find the same stupid war. Nagy, should have known you were here. Craft, why do you fall a while? When I first met you, you were a proud warrior. You said you'd bring peace to the world and protect humans. You promised me. Yes, I remember. And I'm keeping my promise by doing this. No, oh, escaped. Come in, Zero. I'm reading the Reploid signals growing fainter. He did it. CL, Kraft's got Nagy. Can you check his signal? What? I'll get right on it. <laughs> so she was friends with one of those New Arcadian Reploids. She pretended to be helping us this whole time. And you, you're a resistance Reploid Zero. Huh, <laughs> some legend. Then the other one kept talking about helping humanity, but look at what he did at our settlement. <laughs> Are you gonna go help Nagy? Th that woman, she's with the Reploids. I'm not gonna stick my neck out for her. I can't believe you. You're just gonna abandon her? She put her life on the line to stop the fight and save you in your settlement. What of it? If we save her, we might get attacked again. Look at you, all cowering in fear. You're no different than the humans in your Arcadia. How dare you! If you're going to be like that, why don't put your lives at stake to leave New Arcadia in the first place? Well... <laughs> Zero? I found Iggy. Get back here ASAP. I'll be right there. Please, save Nagy. <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back, Zero. I know where Nagy was taken. His enemy base was west of our current position. Nagy and Kraft should be there. We're ready for transfer when you are. Yeah. The settlement. Huh? Patching it through. Come in, Zero. Can't do anything to save Nagy. We humans aren't as strong as you Reploids, but you were right. We abandon Nagy, this whole settlement means nothing. From this moment, we all decided to live with free of Wilde's rule. Nagy has helped us too many times to count. We don't have the right to ask you this, but please, save Nagy for us. We really aren't like Wilde and the others. Please, lend us your strength. Zero? I'll save Nagy. Thank you, and good luck. Zero, we're ready when you are. Zero, be careful out there. Transfer me, operator. All right, ready for transfer. Keep going, you'll eventually re reach a duct leading inside. It's dangerous, but at least in Nagy's location.
Okay, we're doing just fine. What the fuck is that? Oh, come on. Zero, what are you doing here? Here to rescue you. People back at our settlement sent me. Thanks, but I still want to talk to Kraft. Is he a friend of yours? Kraft saved me from Mavericks when I was just starting out as a reporter. I was amazed at how he fought to protect the humans. <laughs> it's kind of strange a human falling for a reploid. <laughs> then I fell in love too. Nagy fought her hard, hard enough to expose the truth to people. Craft! <laughs> Nagy, you haven't changed a bit. Want to set your mind to something? You said it through. To the end. You've, ch you've changed. You think you're fighting for humanity, but you are just a palm being played by a while. You don't understand nothing. While well, we'll destroy everything outside of New Arcadia with Ragnarok. That includes you. That's why I helped them. So I could find you. To protect you. Not just you, but all humans are reproids. We have to maintain what little energy we have to survive. Even if that means a life under Wild's control. So that's why you blindly follow Wild. <laughs> Stealing freedom and destroying nature just for survival. Isn't this the justice you fought for? This is the justice you fought for? <laughs> You humans dare talk about justice. hundred years ago, you drove me from New York, Arcadia. <laughs> you disposed of Maverick Reploids like garbage. Humans complaining about justice. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> you. Dr. Wild. <laughs> You've been keeping busy, Zero. There are only four soldiers left now. But no matter. You still can't stop Ragnarok. Not a chance. <laughs> Question for the lady. Will you stay and die in Area Zero for your freedom? Or will you follow Kraft's example and follow me? I really don't care one way or the other. A uh, while! <laughs> That's the face. The face of rage, suffering, and humiliation. It's my greatest pleasure. Pleasure only a ruler can fully appreciate. <laughs> don't you get it? Justice is long abandoned in this world. Only life is only life and death matters now. Nagy. I don't want you to become one of the dead. <laughs> Zero, can you really kill me? A human? Do you want to become a maverick in front of her? Zero, close your eyes when I give the signal. So what will you do, Zero? Girl, the only choice is a living death under you. Then I'd rather choose to laugh death in the face and face it with dignity. Zero, now! What? A trick? A trick? Uh, I can't see! I'll pay for that! <sighs> the little scoundrels escaped. <laughs> no matter. Kraft, continue with Ragnarok and find those two. We'll show them the error of their ways. Laughing death in the face and facing a dignity is better than a living death. Iggy, hi. <laughs> you 
You okay? That was nothing for a hardened journalist. Did you, look like, did you like the little trick I kept handy? I can't stay here. It's dangerous. Seal, come in. Get us out of here. Zero, I'm glad to see you're okay. Nagy is with you? I'll bring Nagy back first. I'm counting on you. Thanks, Zero. I only did what that did the people at the settlement asked. If you're going to thank anyone, thank them. I will then. Craft, I'm sorry. Nagy's back. Now it's your turn, Zero. Oh, shit. Prison area escape detected. Upgrading security to level 3. Zero? What's happening? I can't coordinate zero. Respond. Signal's being jammed. You got here on my own now. What the hell? Oh, it's because I was low on health. Is that it? out of here. Zero, come in. Frame the jamming. Bring you back. Understood. Retrieving zero. Let's go. Transferring in three and two, one. Welcome back. Transfer complete. It's good to see you back. Where's Nagy? She went back to the sun and went th tell everyone thanks. I see. Do you think we really helped the humans? I do. We're not out of it yet. Still work to do. <laughs> right. Let's build stop the Wild's evil plan. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know if my mind could take it. We've already we went through a game and a half, but my brain is already starting to fry. <sighs> like maybe today and then tomorrow. Yeah, today, and then we just finished the. We'll finish the later half of this game later on today. But yeah, I guess this was the all-nighter stream because technically it's six in the morning and that's usually when everyone gets up. So um, yeah, for those that stuck all the way here, um, thank you for showing up. I really appreciate you guys staying this whole journey with me and somebody that just came back. For those that are new, if you guys want me to do another one of these, well, you already know what to do. Another 50 subs and I'll do it. But yeah, for those that are new, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content and the stream. I would really appreciate it because right now I'm, I'm dead tired and I feel I'm going to pass out. And, and like the stream if you guys enjoyed it. For those watching after, for, for those watching this super, super, absolute all, long stream all the way to the end, I y'all are real ones. And I uh, really appreciate it if you do subscribe because, well... You saw the effort I put on all this after I almost lost my mind. Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess I'm on the stream. See you guys. I'm gonna go pass out. One day later. Heat Genblum. Yeah, also, I don't like, like... Yeah, you were right. They changed a lot of stuff, and I don't like it. It just feels super off, and I 
don't understand. Um. Yeah, it just feels weird. Like, I don't like the, like, obviously the elements, like, I get it. They wanted to have a reason for you to work for the weaknesses, not just have the armor on and just go ham. But here's the thing. The Zero series was never really designed for that type of stuff. Like, they tried to go for Mega Man X type, like, game design, but that's just not how it works with the Zero games. The Zero games already had their own thing going. <laughs> that's, what makes them, that's, that's what makes them unique. So I don't know why they tried to go back to the original. This range. This mission? Yes. But yeah, this game's dialogue is super weird, and I don't understand why. Because the rest of the game's rating was really good for the series. Yeah, but my guess is the fact some fans saw that the story wasn't done because, you know, Wile was still around. And I'm pretty sure the reason um, Zero Four was supposedly the last one is because, you know, they didn't want to make a Zero Five. Which, they even said it themselves, they just... They did what they did with the ending because they didn't want to have a zero five. Then they made ZX, which is oh boy, <laughs> oh boy ZX. Oh yeah, it's very clear. I th <laughs> not gonna lie, I think they're I think Mega Man. I think they have a Stockholm syndrome with Mega Man because not just say Gunvolt. I just it, it's so much funnier than that you say that because for a studio that was done with Mega Man, <laughs> they're really obsessed with Mega Man like games. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Are you talking about um, Dragon Marked for Death? Is that the one you're talking about? Whoa! Like, oh, that was a save point there. Is not the one you're talking about, Dragon Marked for Death? Is that it? Because I have that. That game is genuinely really fun. Oh, Gal Guardians, Demon Purge. Yeah, I heard of Gal Guardians. I have Gal Guardians. It's great. It's, it's decently fun. It's decent fun. Like, it's not the greatest platform I've ever played, but it's it's still a decent time. If, like, you wanna just have a time waster. Or was it Grim Guardians Demon Purge? I might just or just being dumb. Is that what's called? That? that was Gal Guardians. I own the game. I should know this. I want. Uh, this is weird. Yeah, it, it felt like it wanted to be Old School Castlevania, which, well, it wanted to be Old School Castlevania mixed with Mega Man. Yeah, this, <laughs> for a company that said they were done with Mega Man, they are obsessed with it. It's... <laughs> I don't know, that just seems super funny to me. Oh yeah, it was Grim Guardians. I'm just dumb. Ragnarok will, f will wake the humans from their stupidity. It is the grand plan of our group under Commander Kraft. I am one of thine Hiriar warriors. Heat Genblum. I will defeat all who stand in our way.
Because this, this is like old school Mega Man, and that means I'm going to need a guide, and I don't want to follow that guide. Because what I used to do is that, before when I used to play the X Games, what I would do is that, essentially, I would beat all eight, all eight um, bosses, and then... And then move on to and then move on to 100%ing it to get all the armors, and you know, just to finish just 100% it for the sake of it, you know. Yeah, I think that's isn't that like the common consensus though that this game is probably the worst, but it's also one of the best to come back to because it's like much more simpler compared to the rest of the Zero games. Or at least a decent starting point in terms of difficulty. Ah, I failed to destroy the target. I'm sorry I failed you, Commander Kraft. Yeah, I can see why you're more attuned to it. It's a very... It's a it's a good game. Is it bad? No, but it's compared to the rest of the series, it's just not the best one. Welcome back. Looks like the boss in that area was the power reactor for the particle beam. Without that around the beam's power is slowly fading away and no longer poses a threat to the area zero. Good work, Zero. Fire off flame shots. Oh, oh, I see what this game did. They hit a lot of the stuff into the leveling up, the level up system. That way they, you can just get access to it fully, but I don't like that system, man. It feels weird that this system, I just don't like it. Like zero three was a lot more customizable. Yeah, I can see why you want to look up, want me to look up crafting ex recipes. It just feels kind of weird. <laughs> Use fire. Okay. Discover an old cyber research lab that is over a century old. Some of the failed experiments have been hibernation since the war. They're starting to wake up, but some of them are quite dangerous. Yeah, I'm, I got lucky with Kraft, because essentially I figured out the way he works, kind of. It's just the fact a lot of his attacks just don't have enough startup frames to let you know he's about to do it. Like, his knife attack is borderline instant. The laser attack doesn't really have a way of telling if he's going to shoot it by then. You sort of just got to wait and count. And it just sucks. There are mechanoloids and mavericks all over the place. Infiltrator and wipe out the enemy. This mission? Yes. But yeah, it's just craft is super weird to fight against. And the thing is, you probably gotta fight him again. That's the problem I have. And, he's gonna be, and I think it took me like 20 minutes to beat that guy. Because he just took forever. And I hated him. Because I've seen some clips of, like, one of the bosses for Zero One and Zero Two. And you can, like, do some absolutely devastating combos. It's insane. Because I feel like I remember seeing some combo videos with ZX, and not gonna lie, it looks sick. Fuck!
Oh. So, like, let's say, like, so essentially you start with a special and then you do this. Oh, okay. So essentially it's not like with Zero where you start off with this and then, like, for example, like this. Yeah, because I know after ZX, they absolutely went hog wild with the way the mechanics work. Like, um, they made it so that you could do some really crazy shit in the ZX games. Like, it is absolutely insane what you can do in ZX. Which is, you know, that's that's fair. You can't exactly do that. It's illegal, but it would be cool if they did, if he was a, if Capcom gave him like the okay to make to like, give him a, the fan remake a proper budget that we can release it properly. It could essentially be the Mega Man X7 we should have gotten. Yeah, because I can definitely see a a Ninja Gaiden slash DMC type a action game with the Zero games. Because it would be sick. Like, Because here's the thing. It would make it so much easier to combo weapons. Because of the fact that all the Zero games give you a lot to use. Like, they give you a lot. And I mean a lot of options. It's, but it's a shame that you can't exactly switch them. I remember when I was playing through this... I was hyped because I thought, oh, maybe you can switch weapons here. No, you can't. It just switches weapons to what you have in the two slots, which is a shame. So it kind of sucks. You can't exactly, you know. What the heck is going on here? But I doubt it's ever going to happen, because of the fact Inti Courage is the only one that knows how to do it. And the thing is, the Zero series doesn't have the same amount of hype as the X and Classic games do, which... The Zero series is great! Don't get me wrong, they are great, but compared to Impact, I think Capcom cares more about Classic and X. Because, you know, Mega Man's iconic. As for Zero, it's just a whole different story. <sighs> you kept me waiting, hero. Thought you might have been ripped apart by the helpers. And here I rush to get everything ready for you. And again, there are none that can keep up with me. Hope you can at least make things interesting for me. After all, you are a hero. Fuck, I was right there. There we go. Ah. <laughs> not bad. True to the name, hero. But it's not over yet. Not by a long shot. The true power of Ragnarok is only just beginning. <laughs> you should stop preparing your list of excuses when you have to explain why you couldn't save Eddie at zero. Yeah, I wish it was cold here. Right now it's summer, so it's hot as balls. Upgrades all in one. Like, since it's much easier to get the EX skills, it's just better. Dude, I skipped X3 because X3 was a pain in my ass. I did not like... I tried doing a recording of X3, but literally most of my footage was just deaths. And I'm like, yeah... I could just not play through that game. It was just so bullshit, and I didn't like it. <sighs> I just didn't like that game. It just... Ugh. I was like, it was too brutal, even for me. And I like Bloodborne. Like, Jesus Christ. 
But if you want to know the real hard one, oh, I can't imagine playing Mega Man in base. Oh, God, I don't even want to think about playing that one. I just know how AIDS that game is going to be if I do play through it. So this whole gimmick is I need to be in the shade. Cool. By the way, speaking of Metal Gear, if you want, I did play through Metal Gear for the channel. Uh, all three, all three games in the Master Collection, in Volume One of the Master, Co Master Collection. So you want to check it out? I can leave. There's a playlist. I made a playlist for all three games, and um, there before I got good at editing, so you can just tolerate it if you want, or at least some half decent with editing. So if you want to check it out, I well you can. Oh god, I forgot respawning enemies. That is so AIDS. Whew! What I don't like is the fact that enemies take two hits now and it annoys me. What the? Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that all the boss does? Just does that the whole time? If so, then what the fuck? Is that it? That's literally it. Hey JK, how you doing? Oh, thank God. Finally. Ah, uh, back here again. Fun. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good. Your gimmick. <laughs> it must have quite fired up to come this far. Ah, but you're not fired up enough for me. I want to see you sweat. I want to see tears. Show me everything you got. I love making guys like you with the charcoal. Now it's time to get burned. <laughs> sure, buddy. I know your gimmick. Yeah. 
Ok. Oh, that was close. What? Why can't I move? How could I lose to you? Unbelievable. No. Impossible. Fuck this boss. Mission of the environment control system in area zero. Infiltrate and put a stop to the device. This mission? Yes. Alright. What should do? Transfer. Oh no. Is this the shit stage you've been talking about, dude? Oh no. Oh no. From inside the building ahead, I'm reading a powerful magnetic field. Because of the field, your jump might be affected. If you share polarity, you'll jump higher. If it's different, you'll jump lower. There and capsules can change your magnetic polarity. Use them wisely to get through there. Is this the shit stage? Oh boy. So far, nothing too bad. So far. Can't imagine playing this without save assist. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. That's this gimmick. Oh. My god, wall jumping is a pain. Oh god. Okay, it's off. Thank god. Okay. Okay, they were good. Oh boy. Oh no. That was surprisingly easy. Yeah, it was pretty easy, which is weird. I don't like that. Why is it weird? Well, yeah, here's the thing. Usually if it spawns enemies, it usually means that, um... That, um, that there's gonna be, like... It wants you to... It's the, the developers intend for you to, like, use E-Tanks to heal. If that's the case, then. Oh boy, no wonder. You. You finally come, Zero. Won't let you stop, Ragnarok. I am the Great Mino. 
Magnus, I will crush you. And then, uh, I really don't have time to listen to the rest of this. Let's go. Can this be happening? Bye bye, fucker. We'll clip it then. I got some hella good RNG with that boss. It was insane. Even I was surprised. I'm like, oh damn, did I just time it right? Well, at least we know it's weakness. <laughs> and we know how much damage it can do, because Jesus Christ, that was a lot of damage. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Hey JK, oh, we're gonna be at the final stretch of the game. So, boss rush time. Let's see, we're from the resistance base. Opening channel. CL. Zero, it's terrible. The base radar has detected a large energy signature. The signature is coming from space. Space? Energy signature is off the charts. It's heading air. It's heading. Area zero. Get out there. What is it? Respond! What's going on up there? Something's overriding the signal. Source says, New Arcadia! <laughs> I knew it. Dr. Weil. I told you, Zero, you don't have a chance of stopping Ragnarok. Laying down a blanket of destruction from the comfort of my space cannon was what Ragnarok was built for the whole time. The Eight Warriors were nothing more than a diversion. Talk a complete Ragnarok. Operator, can you transfer me to Ragnarok? I'm sorry. I can't pinpoint the coordinates. Can't send you anywhere without a destination. Hold on, Chad. Be right back. Yeah, it is reserved for people like Batman and the Justice League, and also weirdos want to show the world. Your confusion thrills me to no end. <laughs> you pathetic insects crawling around getting excited about your precious nature. I want to hear you scream as you meet your doom. Only one that's doomed is you. How dare you, that force. Craft? I destroyed Ragnarok's the remote control system. I'm no longer your dog to your yank your run by your chain. Now I control Ragnarok. Your space cannon is no longer pointed at Area Zero. It's pointed at near Arcadia. Seduced by the sweet words of a woman. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you realize how many humans or uploads are living under my control? Are you saying I should play the loyal uploid and follow you? Not doing, not thinking, just waiting out your beck and call, and you're condoning the destruction of nature and struggling just to survive? I will not let you take control. I fought too long and too hard for humanity to let you. It will change the world. <laughs> what? So you're going to attack New Arcadia instead? There are still humans and reploids there. Come in, resistance base. Now, come, see how communication is restored. See how, come in. Get everyone in the resistance over to near Arcadia. 
Get the humans and Riploids out of there. Even if you have to force them out, try to save as many as you can. Too many have already seen enough suffering. Understood. I will relay your orders immediately. Preparation for transfer to Ragnarok complete. As the coordinates are based on craft signal, this will be a forced transfer. Also, your position will be somewhat removed from crafts in this control room. All right, just transfer me. Sail, don't give up hope. Zero. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. Railing there. Yep. Look at the music though. Very final boss. I don't know if it's trying to have a second shot. Change the world and the people in it. You think Nagy would approve of what you're doing? I know what that I, what I'm doing makes it seem like wild. <coughs> I don't care if you think like I'm a madman. Someone has to take a stand and fix humanity's course. Supreme Edge Man, let's go. That took way less time than last time. What the? Oh, there's a moth in my room. Oh, God. We're only wet broids designed for war. It's not our place to change the world. It's up to humans like Seal and Nagy. As reploids, we can only lend strength to those we trust. Trust? Just who should I be trusting? The humans that know nothing while their world falls apart. The humans that fear us. Their own creations, or the humans that try to conquer the world. If we fight each other for them, this world screams out in pain under them. Why should I trust anyone? How can you trust them? How can you fight? I made the promise. To, I made a promise to a friend. I intend to keep. Thanks, Sapura. Someone who believed hum harmony between human and reploids was possible. I trust that friend, and I trust a human that friend trusts. I see. I couldn't even bring myself to trust Nagi. Even though she has always only told the truth. Ah! Craft. I leave my body here. I can no longer face Nagi. I don't want to cause her to suffer anymore. I'll do as you asked. Zero. The humans, the reploids, the world, and Nagi. Watch over them. Zero, respond! Ciel, I stopped Ragnarok. And craft? And craft. I'm sorry. 
I don't know what to say. You don't need to see anything. Mission complete. I'm going back. Oh my god. I, I, why'd I have an easier time like last time? Calver team here. Mission complete, CL. I thought there were any survivors in that area. I see. Good work, everyone. Obviously, this ain't it. Obviously. I see. Continue to search for any survivors. Acknowledged. Sale. You okay? I'm okay. Just a little tired. Incoming communication from an outside line. It's in the settlement. I'll patch it in. Zero. Maggie. Just like you said. Doesn't matter what I do, as long as I keep fighting. I'm more different from a while. And I had to fight craft. Oh, Zero. Thank you. For stopping craft. <laughs> Ragnarok and New Arcadia are no more. Is it finally over? So many humans and reploids lost their lives. Zero. Did we do the right thing? <laughs> what was that? It came from Ragnarok. It's still operational. But while and Craft are gone, who could be controlling it? Operator, send me back to Ragnarok. I can't. Only the control room is connected. There's protection around the circuit to the center. We can't transfer you from the access port in the trailer. Ragnarok is accelerating, and it's heading straight for... What's wrong? It's heading straight for Area Zero. Someone's trying to crash it. What? There's still some time before it touches down, but we can disable the circuit protection from here. Isn't there something we can do? Zero. CL, you okay? Nigi. Ragnarok is... I heard. I'm sending over some coordinates and you might be able to re reach Ragnarok with these. Well, where did these go? To the teleporter base in Neo Arcadia. It was originally designed to transfer troops. May you have just enough power to get you over to Ragnarok. Coordinates received from the settlement. And putting now. Zero. That's our only chance. It's one I have to take. Jesus Christ. Well, egotistical psychopaths tend to be hard to kill. Like a Wesker. And Senator Armstrong. Coordinates of the teleporter base have been set. Transfer the T-base? No. Alright, I'll add the base on the map. It's available when you're ready. Put in the coordinates of the teleporter base. This mission? Alright, ready for transfer. Him riding a nuke while holding a cowboy hat. That would be sick. I'm going to send the transport coordinates. You're going to have to disable the base's protection. You disable them by pulling all the switches up there. Each of the moments. Switch up to fun.
should be all of them, right? Yep, all of them. That was close. Yep, it was close. <laughs> okay, there was three safe zones in a row. They definitely couldn't balance this part. I thought that was a platform. <laughs> God, there's so many save points. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done with this. Come on. So this is the Ragnarok core. <laughs> Welcome to your front seat for the end of the world. That voice. Dr. Weil? How did you survive the attack from Ragnarok? <laughs> oh, he's a cyborg, of course. Survive? That's easy. Because I can't die. What happened to you? <laughs> did my mechanical body surprise you? Did you think I was a reploid and you could fight me? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm pure human. Even with a body that looks like this. <laughs> How? When the Dark Elves took control of the reploids and destroyed the Mavericks and the Elf Wars, the humans of the time modified me. They transferred all my memories to program data and switched my body for this armor with the power to rejuvenate me. Do you have any idea what that means? I can't age. And wounds heal more quickly than normal. After the war, I was cursed to live on an eternity in a world without light or nature. The humans expelled me from New Arcadia. <laughs> Justice, freedom, worthless ideals. Your bloods are just machines, but you started a war a long time ago in the name of freedom. And humans, look what they did to me. Di driving me away while spouting the word justice. Zero, would you insist on saving them? Controlling the Reploids is nothing. The destruction of all mankind is only fleeting. Not quite alive, not quite dead. Forever by my side. I'll make you suffer a fate far greater than anything ever experienced before. Alright, quit your yap. It sucks we don't see the Guardians anymore. Alright, brother, quit your yapping. Let's fight. Well, this is familiar. <laughs> I'll teach you there's no place for full time.
my god! Oh! Holy shit! Whoo! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Let's go! Screw you! Oh my god! Ragnarok is breaking apart. Ragnarok has entered the atmosphere. Most of it will burn up into entry. And Peck with Area Zero has been averted. Mission successful. Zero. Come in. Zero? Zero, please. Come in. There's no response from the receiver. The connection has been lost. CL? <laughs> oh! A shooting star! Wow! Look! A lot of shooting stars! pieces of ragged rock. Does this mean we're saved? Craft. Zero. Did you reach zero? Zero. Why? How could this happen? For saving all of us, and just and humans and reptiles are finally coming together. What do we do now? It's okay. I'm sure Zero is still out there. One day, they'll come back to us. Yeah. Oh my god, they even got the absolutely crunchy anime ending. Oh my god, that is glorious. They got the crunchy anime and op ending. Let's go. Oh no, sad seal. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh, wow. I guess we did it. Mar the Mega Man Zero Marathon is officially over. Whew, what a ride. Not gonna lie. For all this shit, shit I gave this game, it is a decent Zero game, but with all the buildup of the rest of the games beforehand... <laughs> oh, if only. I doubt we're gonna get a Zero Five. If we do get a Zero Five, it's because Capcom's gonna do it in-house. I don't know if Inti Creates is gonna come back for a Zero Five. They will come- they- apparently they do want to come back for a ZX3 though. That's what I've been hearing. They want to come back, they just gotta get the okay from Capcom. But right now, you know, they're into creates to sort of doing their own thing with Gunvolt, plenty of inter and plenty of other IPs too. But yeah, as much as that shit I gave this game, it is a decent romp. Is- is it the- the ending for Zero we all hoped for, mm, not exactly, but it's a decent ending for the guy. I mean, considering all the shit that happened to him in the X Games and Zero, it's a, it's a fitting end. 
He did. He died doing what he did. He died doing what he loved doing. So at least we have solace in knowing he's. At least his memory will be lived on forever. But at least, at least it's good to know the ZX games are technically a sequel. Zero, you believed in us. Now it's our turn to show you that your faith in us was not in vain. Watch, Zero. I'll make this world a better place. Once more, one where humans and robots can walk hand in hand, living in peace. But yeah, maybe the ZX games are next in the pipeline for me. Just come back someday. I believe in you. But yeah, but the devs did say to themselves, they didn't want to do a zero. Never mind. He is. Oh. Oh, he is dead, dead. Oh. Oh, he is dead, dead, dead. He is. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Guess we're not getting a zero five. That motherfucker dead, dead. Holy shit. <laughs> That dude is gone! Oh my god! I know they wanted him dead, but Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Holy... Dude, he is... Never mind, Zero Five is not happening, because that dude is gone, gone, bro. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, now I'm big sad now. Now I'm sad, sad. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least it's good to know he died doing what he did most. Although, yeah, CL's gonna be very big sad when she finds the body. Oh no. <laughs> well, anyways. Um, for, thanks guys for sticking around for this long for this final bit of the marathon and yeah yeah but it's not like they could do much but anyways yeah oh boy what a what a game well, at least we have solace in knowing that ZX games are canon and integrates is willing to come back for ZX3. So, um, if you guys enjoyed the stream and those that are new, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And maybe I'll do another all-nighter stream at 200 subs. <laughs> but, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the stream, please go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you did. And like the stream as well. And for those watching after the stream, and if you made it this far, God knows you did after five hours. Um, go ahead and click that subscribe button if I'm worthy enough of your time and like the video, like the stream if you think you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, I'm gonna go to bed. The Mega Man Zero Marathon is finished. Bye, guys and gals, or whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to like to give out a little bit of an, an outro here. This video took, I think, nearly two months, maybe, or if not longer, but holy shit, has this video been a journey. Um, I've been working on this video for a while now, but the thing is I've been busy with streaming for so long, and it's just, it was a whole process, but hey. There we are. And uh, this was made during the 150 sub special. And I just wanted to say that for those that suck away all to the end, I really appreciate that you guys stay to the end. When I hit that 150 mile subscribe mark a couple while well, all, all that time ago, um, I didn't exactly know how to feel. Because like at the fact that. 
so many of you wanted to watch my stuff and that, not only that, the Mega Man Zero Live Marathon was one of my most viewed live streams, which is shocking. The fact that y'all were willing to tune in to a dude just casually grinding Mega Man Zero throughout the night is just comforting, you know? And, um, yeah. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me for this long. So, um, yeah. And hopefully, maybe in the future, we can do ZX. And that's a maybe. <laughs> I'm most likely going to do it. Just, I'm definitely not going to marathon it like with 03 and 04. Because, you know, those games are typically longer than the average Zero game. But hey, what can you do? I'm going to leave it off here. For those that enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you enjoyed it and you really like want to hear me jabber on about shit more. Like the video in case you genuinely enjoyed it and leave any comments for any criticisms. I really appreciate you selling me any and that you liked about it. That way I can, you know, know what to do right. Anyways, I'm a go. Have a nice day, fellas and gals, or whoever you want to call yourselves. Bye-bye.